This is a metal overhead car door. Okay, it looks like it's a fairly recent installation. It's got a nice pull handle inside of it right here. It's not GFCI protected, nor was it required when the home was built. We do not have an emergency release for this door. If you have an emergency, you don't have anything to pull. We do have spring tension pinch notices on the bottom corners of the door along with the handle. Those are good things. We do not have a warning notice posted on this door. All right, a picture of a child being squashed or something. The manual door lock has not been decommissioned. So what can happen with that is you can close the door, lock it, forget that you locked it, come in and push the button, and then the door is going to come up and try to come up because the, the safety reverse keeps it from closing. There's nothing to keep it from trying to come up. And it can twist and turn and ruin your door. The optic sensors are higher from the garage floor and the driveway than six inches. They're not supposed to be. It's supposed to be six inches or closer. The um, control wires are secured with staples. They're supposed to be insulated staples. So staples like that so they can pinch. This button is supposed to be closed. You know, it's not supposed to be within five feet of the door. Okay, not supposed to be within um, or door threshold, so little hands can't get up here. And you're supposed to have another one of those warning notices right there. So this is what we do. This is in my um, inspection agreement. Um, I do not do block tests. I have instructions on how to do a block test baked into the report. All we're going to do is look for the safety reverse, and we know we've got that. Safety is very personal, and so you adjust the tension to best suit your personal needs but I'm not do no harm as a business decision that I made I do not do block tests push the button. And that's how it works oh and the courtesy light doesn't work and the courtesy light doesn't work okay I'm ready for a bonus round okay we can do that okay can I come in? Come on in, Mr. Fire. The door's open for you. <laughs> See, this door's supposed to have a spring on it. This door's supposed to have a spring on it. What we're trying to do is we're trying to compartmentalize the garage from the living space. Because, yes, there are some things in the garage that we care about. But most of the things we care about are inside. Most of the things we care about are inside. Um, our investment documentation our citizenship documentation our health documentation our insurance documentation our art our jewelry our collectibles our pets our family our loved ones all those things are inside the house most of those things are inside of the house that's where they're usually stored that's why you should have a self-closing spring on the door between the garage and the living space and our weather stripping is a little bit torn on that too while we're at it